What's going on, my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach, and I got a short but awesome video for you today. We're gonna be learning about mental math when it comes to multiplying by five. There's a sweet, simple rule that I'm gonna show you that's honestly gonna change the way that you look at multiplication with big numbers. So let's go ahead and just dive on in. Let's get this done. And remember, if you are in my ASVAB All Access program, text me whenever you need help. I got you. And if you're not in the program and you wanna learn more about it, just go ahead, take my number down, 567-698-8867. If this video is on YouTube, then you'll see the link to the program in the description of the video and somewhere right there. But without further ado, let's just dive on in because I'm really excited to show you this. So let's get started. So mental math strategy, let's just let's get into it because I'm just really excited. Sorry, guys. So here we go. Remember this. Like the main idea here is you want to save time on calculating, right? We don't want to spend too much time calculating because if we're doing that, then what that means is ah, we have less time to plan the problem out. So again, stop reading the screen. Look at me. When you, again, take too long to calculate, that means you have less time to plan. So we need all the time that we can to plan. And that way, we're going to assure ourselves of a higher score. So let's go. Here's the main idea right here. Is this a fact or not? Five is the same thing as 10 divided by two. True or false? True. Five literally is 10 divided by two. So what does that mean? So instead of looking at a problem like, oh man, you know, 84 times five, I don't know if I can do that in my head. You can, you can do that before you even pick up your pencil to try to do it. Before we continue, just wanna take a quick moment to thank you for watching this video. And all I ask is that you please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That way more people just like you can see these videos. But on top of that, if you're looking for more ways to practice the right way and raise your score with guidance without stressing, then I really wholly 100% recommend my ASVAB All Access program. The program, long story short, helps you watch, practice, and master every topic from the word knowledge to paragraph comprehension, arithmetic reasoning, math knowledge, general science. It's there and it's designed to help you succeed with practicing the right way. So with that said, check out the link in the description to see how it all works because you're gonna have ways to learn in every way that you prefer. And you get my guidance and my support all the way until you pass. So don't hesitate, stop feeling nervous and being anxious and letting yourself feel that way when there's a solution waiting right here for you. Check out the link in the description, that way you see how it works, and then reach out to me if you have any questions about it. Let's get back to raising our scores. And so watch this. Because five is the same thing as 10 divided by two, here's what you can do. Instead of trying to multiply by five and you know doing the okay times five, you know, let's say we have 84 and doing all that mumbo jumbo, instead of doing all of that, hey, you can just multiply by 10 and then divide by two. Because again, five is 10 divided by two. So you can just multiply by 10 and then divide by two because that will be the same as multiplying by five. Because five is half of 10. Another way that you can do it, and yes, this works, you can switch the order. You can also go and divide by two and then multiply by 10. That still works. We're gonna show you some examples. We're gonna practice right now. So again, either way works. This is just all about understanding how numbers work. That way you can give yourself an easier time, spend less time, you can have more time to plan. That's how you ace the ASVAB. So let's go ahead and start some of these practice problems here. We got 18 multiplied by five. Let's start off with this one right there. All right, so you may be looking at that and you may be saying, it looks a little tough, right? If I had to do that by hand, like it looks like I gotta carry a one or carry whatever, and no, you don't have to. So watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and just take 18, and this is happening in my head. I'm just writing this here, but it's happening in my head. 18 times 10, that's 180. Then divide that by, excuse me there, looks like I forgot to write this zero. So let me go ahead and get that zero right there. So for 180, then you divide by two and you get 90. There it is. You can do it the other way as well. And I'm gonna show you the normal way to show you that it works. But you can also start off again with 18. You can go ahead and start off by dividing by two, which gives you nine, and then multiply by 10 to give you 100, or excuse me, to give you 90. So notice both of these strategies work. You can multiply by 10, then divide by two, or you can divide by two, then multiply by 10. Either way, you still get the correct answer. You still get the correct answer either way, it's awesome. And so if you did it the normal way, 
Look at how long this would take. 18 times five, eight times five, that's gonna give you 40, carry the four. One times five is five, plus four gives you nine, 90. By the time you write 18 times five down, by the time you write that part down, I would have already done it already. That's the cool thing about knowing how numbers work, guys. Seriously, this is all about helping you improve by doing these little things right. There are rules for multiplying by five, multiplying by three, by two, by 10, by 12. Like there's so many different rules, um, but they're all based off of the same general idea, which is why it's so easy to pick up once you learn the main idea here. So with that said, let's go ahead and try this one out over here. 22 times five. Again, multiply by 10, 220, divided by two, 110. So there we go. 22 times five equals 110. Don't believe me? Go ahead, let's waste some time and let's go ahead and do 22 times five. Two times five is 10. Two times five is 10. Carry the one is 11, 110. So again, by the time you're done writing that down, we could have already done it in our heads. Let's go ahead. I want you to try now. Like, I want you to really try this out. There are three problems. I'm going to give you literally 30 seconds. Go ahead. Try it out. 30 seconds. Go. You can tell I'm really excited for you guys here. So it looks like we've got a couple more seconds here, just a couple more. And just do your best here because I'm gonna go over it with you. And that's just about time, just about. All right, cool, just about time. So let's go and try these out. Again, you can do it either way. You can do it either way. That's the great thing about this. And here is your regularly scheduled announcement, my party people. Remember guys, I host a free class every single week and more classes beyond that. So make sure to check the group tutoring schedule so you know when the classes are, when you can expect to see me live so you can raise your score and get that job you want. So click there to see the schedule and let's keep getting back to the YouTube video right over here. So I'm gonna zoom on in just a little bit here to see these a little closer. So 48 times five. Again, you can do it either way. You can times 10, then divide by two. That's 10 over two is five. Or divide by two, then multiply by 10. Same deal. So if I were to divide 48 by two, that's the same thing as 24 times 10, which is 240. Done. Or you can do 48 times 10, 480, divided by 2, 240. 84 times 5. Let's try that one out. So with that, hey, you can go ahead, multiply by 10 to get 840. And that's 840 divided by 2, so that's 420. Just like that. Like, I hope you see how crazy easy this can be. And then lastly, 45 times 5. This one's a slightly tougher one because you have an odd number there with 45, but it's still the same idea. Again, if it's an odd number, it's better to start by multiplying by 10. Because multiplying or dividing by two first, you'll have a decimal, and I know everybody doesn't want to deal with decimals. So here again, it's better to start off by multiplying by 10. So you can go ahead and get 450 divided by two. And so in that case, you can divide the 400 by two to get 200. 50 by 2 to get 25. So 225. Bam, right there. You're good. And so my party people are like, seriously, th this is exactly what mental math helps you achieve. It helps you achieve a sense of calm, cool, and collectiveness when you're under pressure. It makes it so that you're not trying to think about too many different things at the same time. You want to focus your attention on problem solving, and then you want to be completely automatic when it comes to the calculations. Why did I say that? Because again, when it comes to, when it comes to the ASVAB, you're not gonna know the exact word problems that you're gonna get. But you can guarantee that you can do the math once it presents itself. So mental math is the forefront. It is the foundation of a successful ASVAB test. That's really what it's all about. Because once you have the foundation set up and you can calculate quickly all day, every day, then what happens is, you give yourself more time to process the information in word problems, to understand what those keywords mean, and to understand what formula applies. But if you don't do that, then you don't give yourself the opportunity or enough time to really get that down. That's why mental math is the key. So remember guys, the trick here for multiplying by five, you can go ahead, multiply by five, and then divide by two. Or excuse me, you can multiply by 10, and then divide by two. 
or if you would like to, you can divide by two and then multiply by 10. Either way works. That's the way the cookie crumbles. I'll see you my ASVAB party people. Remember, we're here to get the ASVAB score we want so we can get that job we deserve. If you have any questions, I'm Anderson, your ASVAB coach. Feel free to reach out to me right there. There's my phone number, 567-698-8867. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.